What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I've got an interesting video for you today with some funny findings. Um, basically, we're going to be talking about upper and lower limb multipliers, which I've known about for a long time. I don't remember when it was, but Exclusive Ace put out a video. I believe it was on the SPR. Uh, maybe when the SPR was released, where he found like an upper arm slash bicep multiplier, I think is what he called it. Um, so I've known about it since then. And then in the patch notes, they talked about it uh, with the bullfrog at one point. So we've been aware of it. It was just, uh, I never thought it was like a big deal. And it's really not that big of a deal, if I'm being completely honest. But there are some interesting things that it does change with damage profiles. Um, we've got all the numbers. We're going to go through those today. As always, if you like the content and the website, um, drop a sub. It's free for you. Helps me. Uh, drop a like on the video, comment. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. And we'll talk about the upper and lower limb multipliers. So first, what is the hitbox? So when I tested extremities on true game data, um, I basically shot um, someone in the leg, like down here, real low. Um, so that would be a lower leg multiplier. So any extremities you see on the website is basically the lowest damage you can get on a gun, pretty much, because um, this lower leg is always the lowest damage. That's what I've found from all these numbers. Um, upper leg starts right just about right below the kneecap, so like right where I'm aiming in this right picture. Uh, anywhere from there up to um, the hitbacks that you see on True Game Data. So if you go build a gun on True Game Data. Also, we've added a couple new features. Got this quick add button now, so you can just quickly add this to your saved weapons and you don't have to actually go to the attachments pages. That'll be really nice. And then also, this is new as well, where it shows the full damage profile. And you can actually show TTK um, for any health value here. It'll populate the chart. Same with shots to kill. It'll show shots to kill as well as DPS. So constantly improving the website. Uh, that's free for everybody. And also, if you didn't know about this, we have stat bars. Um, these are real stat bars, so they're actually scaled appropriately to the weapon. Um, and they'll actually change. So as you're building the weapon, I think I've talked about this before, but I just want to quickly cover it. As you actually change these attachments and put them on the weapon, um, you're going to see your stat bars change appropriately. So this is a really cool feature. Try to make the website more accessible to people that don't just want to stare at numbers all day. But these are real stat bars, so they're actually scaled correctly, um, and they work for all the different weapons. So pretty cool. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. If you go back to... Uh, this, you can see the stomach hitbox starts just upper, like upper thigh almost. It's almost like it sneaks down into the leg a little bit. Um, so basically you go from slightly like right at the bottom edge of the kneecap up to just below. So that's a pretty big hitbox actually that I was, that didn't have on true game data before, but you'll see not very many guns have this. Um, as far as upper and lower arm multipliers, this is a really small hitbox. So the lower arm multiplier starts just like on the right side of this bullet hole that I'm circling. So like right here and then down. That is lower arm, and then from there up is where I found uh, upper arm. So again, upper arm and upper leg are much bigger hitboxes than lower arm and lower leg. So with that in mind, let's go through the actual numbers here. Um, so it really only affects SMGs and only some of the SMGs. Like I said, on True Game Data, I basically have the worst case scenario for all these weapons. So the Bullfrog, I have 27 extremities. Um, what you actually get when you measure upper and lower arm is 31 for upper arm, 31 for upper leg, and then 27 for lower arm, lower leg. So really, this is... You're only ever going to see guns looking better with this new information because I had the worst case scenario on the site already. So now the bullfrog looks a little bit better than it did because 31 to the upper arm and 31 to the upper leg is actually a pretty big hitbox, actually quite a bit bigger than lower arm and lower leg. So quite a bit better there. CX-9 as well has these same multipliers. So upper arm, upper, upper arm, upper leg are both 24 instead of 21 like Sontru Game Data. And then lower arm is actually 24 as well. So the whole arm is 24. Uh, and then the upper leg is is 24. So CX-9 is looking better than it did before. Fennec is exactly the same as the CX-9. Same numbers, 24, 24, 24, 21. ISO is the same pattern, but one extra damage. So 25, 25, 25, 22. And then the LAPA actually has these as well. So the default LAPA does 31 uh, to the full arm and 31 to the upper leg, only 27 to the lower leg. So that makes the default LAPA look a lot better than it did before. Uh, the extended barrel LAPA, same exact story, just one less damage. Again, this is because the, the extended barrel reduces damage by one, basically. Um, so full arm and upper leg does 30 instead of 27, like it would be showing on the website right now. And then the rifled barrel does 32 to upper arm, 32 to upper leg, but then does 29 to lower arm, lower leg. So again, big hitbox there. So that's a big benefit for the um, for the LAPA. Same story with the BR Compact. The lower arm stays the same, lower leg stays the same, but upper arm and upper leg are increased. And then... <laughs> Lastly, we have the bison. Um, the bison's hilarious. I have 34 listed as the extremities value on true game data. Uh, and that is true for the left leg. 
but the right leg, <laughs> the upper right leg does 27. <laughs> upper right arm does 27. Lower right arm and lower right leg do 20. So there's left and right leg multipliers and, and left and right arm multipliers as well. Um, I think these are all correct. I tested both sides for most of them when I found out that uh, one side does more than the other. I just did this on stream a few minutes ago, but uh, pretty funny, I thought. <laughs> this just shows how much like tweaking they can actually do with this stuff. Um, so I, this is another reason why I don't like saying, oh, you know, if I hit all chest shots and one neck shot is going to reduce the TTK when there's all kinds of hitbox stuff going on that uh, there's some there's some small hitboxes and there's might even be more hitboxes that we don't know about. And I think it's just a lot better to just plug into the advanced calculator on true game data and just get a real TTK. But obviously we need to get upper arm, lower arm on there for these SMGs to make that more accurate. The problem is the more shot locations you add, the less accurate it gets because there won't simply be enough shots. This is all only for the first first damage drop off, by the way. They scale out to all the damage drop offs, but I just did the first damage drop off for these. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is uh, the more shot locations you include in the advanced TDK calculator, the less uh, shots per shot location it can actually like distribute throughout for those percentages. So it gets less and less accurate um, the more shot locations there are. So once I add these, really the best way to do it is going to be to look at DPS because DPS is just going to give you a straight up number. Like this is making your your uh, your different TTKs so complex to calculate that it's just looking at one shot locations like no longer going to be really a valid thing to do. I think once we have all this information up. But like I said, it's mostly these. Some of the snipers have them as well, but it's not really not that important for snipers. Um, but yeah, that's all I had to cover. Pretty short video, but more information for you guys just to make building loadouts a little bit more complex. But this does make the Lapa look even better. The Lapa is already, I think, a meta SMG. This makes it look even better. Bullfrog looks better. CX-9 looks quite a bit better. Fennec and ISO, still not great. Um, Fennec's okay. Uh, but these two look quite a bit better. Lapa looks quite a bit better. And then the Bison looks a lot worse because apparently if you uh, shoot at the right leg, you're going to do a lot less damage, which makes total sense. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Find it funny, informative, useful. Um, have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video.